A second one would be 10.5 squared. So if I go to my calculator, 11.07 to the second and 10.5 10 to the second. There's my variance. So my sample variance is going to be 122.5449, wherever they want me to round it to, and my population variance is 110.25. So variance just means take the standard deviation and square it. The hardest part on this test is remembering what to do. But a lot of it is going to be stat edit, stat calc. You can get a lot from that. So, oops, that was that. So for this one, it says find the variance on the calculator. I want to know the sample variance and I want to know the population variance. <coughs> Variance is the standard deviation squared. Is that the one we just did? Crap. Let me pull a different problem. I've been teaching too long now. Do the same correct problem. Let me steal one of these. Same problem, wasn't it? Uh, oh, let me steal this one. Hold on, let me put this one back before I forget. All right, do, do that one. The same that? one. <laughs> let me grab the top one. I thought they would have done the top one and not the bottom one. Cut. Oh, lordy, lordy. Text. There we go. Find the sample variance and find the population variance. Let's see who's here. Bryant is here. Frederick is not. Renika is not. Sharice is here. Leggett is here. Dominique is here. McKnight is not. Pratt is here. Lauren is here. Amethyst is not. Renika is <coughs> here. Linda is here. So we're missing Frederick, we're missing McKnight, and we're missing Amethyst. We're finding the sample variance and the population variance. Sounds stupid in front of everybody in the same. Yeah. Yep. I had to struggle with that. I asked my 13 year old yesterday. Aww. But she still doesn't make sense. She's right. That's all that matters. Yes. <laughs> she had it right. She just, I just didn't understand. I want to know what is the variance. Sample variance means it's the standard deviation of the sample squared. Population variance is it the population standard deviation squared. Today is the last day for the test. Yesterday was the last day for the homework. Today is the last day for the test. So you can have to okay. You want it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So far, um, 
So far, eight people have taken the test, and the average, what did I say, was 87? All right, so we're going to go into the calculator. We're going to do stat edit. We're going to go to the top, and we're going to do clear enter. Now, remember I said that if you accidentally get rid of a column by accident, like let's say I got rid, instead of hitting clear, I hit delete, and I deleted a couple columns. If you get rid of a couple columns, what you're going to do, or if you get something that's funky, if you go to stat and do number five, setup editor, and hit enter, <coughs> and then go back in, it's going to take it back to default. It's going to take it back to what it was. And remember, if you get a calculator that you don't like, they can't help you fix it. <coughs> Somebody else could have screwed it up. <coughs> and they can't help you fix it. You can ask for another calculator. Okay, so my first numbers were 41, 38. All right, there's 10 pieces of data. 10 pieces of data, I did stat edit. Then I'm gonna do stat calculate. One bar stats, I go back and say how many uh, lists did I have? I only had one list, so I should only be doing L1 because there's one list of data. And then I'm going to do enter, enter, enter. There's my first page of answers, and I'm going to go ahead and pull my separate, or maybe not, stat calc, one bar stats. I'm not going to need it, but just in case, here's my second page of data. Okay, <coughs> they want the sample variance and the population variance. So this is going to be sample standard deviation squared, which is going to be SX <coughs> squared. This is going to be population standard deviation squared, which is sigma X squared. So this is my... SX, so it's going to be 3.1358, however far you want to go, I don't care, squared. I'll round it. That's fine. And this one is going to be, get a different color, this one's going to be 2.9749 squared. Our answers may be a little bit off because of rounding. 3.1358 to the second. Oops, 3.1358 <coughs> to the second. And 2.9749 to the second. So my first answer, let's say I wanted it to two decimal places. My first answer is going to be 9.83. And my second answer is going to be and would cooperate. 8.85. We good? So variance is just whatever your standard deviation is squared. Alright, I want to see what you can do with this one. You know enough to do it on your own. Yes. I'll pull this. Oops. <coughs> I'll do this and then I'll pull it up. <coughs> Good. Alright, you know enough to do this one on your own. There's going to be two answers. Never mind, there's going to be one answer. There's only going to be one answer. I bet. <coughs> didn't read the question. One answer.
34, and then it's a bell-shaped curve, so the other side is symmetric. 34, 13.35, 2.35, and 15. Oh, why are you not using those numbers? Those gave us um, this book, which I didn't use what the book used. I used a different kind of math lab. This book, instead of 68%, it used 68.26%. Instead of 95, it used 95.44. <coughs> instead of 99.7, it used 99.72. But if you take any um, stats class, they usually call it the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. So, this is saying if you have a bell-shaped curve, you have a bell-shaped curve, okay, where this represents a standard deviation. 68% will fall between one standard deviation. So if you go one jump above or one jump below the mean, that is one standard deviation. That's 68% of the population. 95% of the population falls between two standard deviations, or two jumps above and two jumps below. That's 95%. 99.7% falls within three jumps above and three jumps below. And the whole graph represents 100%. I promise I'm going to do a lot of these. Some of you are going, what? So, in the middle is always your mean. So in the middle, this is, um, they put one on every computer, I know, they die on every computer. Fifteen beside the elevator. Thank you. Bye. Oh, when he walks in here, y'all are going to be my witness. I have it on video too. When he walks in here, it's going to work. <laughs> okay, this is my mean. This is this is my standard deviation. So that's the number of jumps. <coughs> so sixty-eight percent falls within one standard deviation. 95% falls within two standard deviations. And then if we go to 99.7%, that means it falls within three standard deviations. So the main thing we have to know is that 68% is one standard deviation in either direction, 95% is two jumps in either direction, and 99.7% is three jumps in either direction. So, we're going to look at a problem, and this one says the average speed of vehicles along the stretch of highway is 67 miles an hour with a standard deviation of 4 miles per hour. So we're going to stop right there. This is a normal distribution. The mean is what goes in the middle. So what are we putting in the middle? What is the mean? What is the average? The mean is 67. The standard deviation, which is the jump, is 4. So we are jumping in increments of 4. So if we jump to the right, that means we're getting bigger. So we're going to add 4 if we go to the right. 
If we're jumping to the left, we get smaller, so we're going to subtract 4. So when I jump to the right, 67 plus <coughs> 4 gives me what? Okay, Price, I swear, uh -huh. this whole class, it has been working and not working, working and not working, and as soon as I hung up the phone with you, it started working, it started working again. I think Arthur's the only one that has new ones left. Okay. So you couldn't have done anything for me anyway? Well, we got some over there right here, the old ones. I think okay. Test them out. Arthur's got the only brand new ones. All right, so if I call you and hang up, <laughs> I'm just hoping that when I call you that it'll start working again. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. All right, so 67 plus 4 is what? 71. Plus 4 is 75. <coughs> 4 is 79. Did everybody see what I did? And then 67 minus 4? is 63, minus 4 is 59, minus 4 is 55. So we got that just from the first sentence. The mean and the standard deviation. And we always go three jumps to the left and three jumps to the right. Kind of like the electric slide. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right. Now slide. Now, estimate the percent of vehicles whose speeds are between 63 and 71. Okay, so they want me to go between 63 and 71. So you're going to ask yourself, is this a one jumper, a two jumper, or a three jumper? How many jumps did I make in either direction? So everybody see that I I jumped one play, one jump in either direction. So one jump both ways represents what percent? Sixty-eight. Whoop, there's your answer. <coughs> Let me go back to the picture. That picture kills it. Makes it look if you go one jump in either direction, 68%. If you go two jumps in either direction, 95%. If you go three jumps in either direction, 99 sevenths. So 68 is one jump, 95 is two jumps, 99 seven is three jumps. Let's look at another one. The 68, 95, 99 seven rule is called the empirical rule. This is the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. They just don't want to say 68, 95, 99, 7. So they call it the empirical rule. So we have two questions. Let's start off by drawing it. So that first sentence usually tells me how to draw it. We have a normal distribution. What number goes in the middle? Our mean. 98.20. So 98.20 goes in the middle. That's our mean. And then we jump off of that our standard deviation. So how much are we going to jump off of that? No, what is our standard deviation for this one? 0 0.62. Uh, 4 just happened to be the standard deviation for the last one. So every problem, your standard deviation is going to change and your mean is going to change. So we're going to add 0.62, add 0.62, add 0.62, and then we're going to subtract 0.62, subtract 0.62, subtract 0.62. And that's going to give me the numbers at the bottom. Somebody with a calculator. What is 98.20? I think I know that one. That one's 98.82. What's 98.82 plus 0.62? Okay, 99.44 plus 0.62. Is that right? Okay, now do 98.20 minus 0.62. Can't do my subtraction as fast. 98.20 minus 0.62. 97.58 minus 0.62 from that. 
minus another 0.62. 96.34. Are we good? Now, within, okay, so question, at, use the empirical rule. So they're telling us to use the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. Within one standard deviation of the mean. So if you're with, so this is saying what percent is within one jump? 16. Or between 97.58 and 98.82. They're the same thing. So what's our percentage? 68. Because that would be this piece right here. Yay? Now, question B says between 96.34 and 100.6. What percentage would that be? <coughs> Only because it's three jumps to the right and three jumps to the left. 99.7. <coughs> Yay? All right, let me see what you can do with this one. You know enough to do it. It's a little bit different, but you know enough to do it. So on, on homework, would they have that little thing you drew? Of course not. Ms. Pratt said, would they have this cute little picture? No. That would make life easy. I wouldn't do that. Average monthly utility bill for households is seventy dollars, with a standard deviation of eight. Between what two values do about ninety-five percent of the data lie? The empirical rule is 6895 Giving Linda a headache. I don't remember 68. No, 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 I know, but I'm just saying, how many times do we add and subtract? Like, how you do You always go to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right. Because it's always three jumps. Because 68 is one jump, 95 is two jumps, 99 7 is three jumps. You got an answer? <coughs> oh, yes. I'm just going to tell you what we asked. Huh? Let me ask you. What number goes in the middle? Yeah. Oh, I love y'all. Jumping off of it. 
So to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right. So we always do three jumps because 68 is one jump, 95 is two jumps, 99, seven is three jumps. So we do the three jumps just in case. So we're gonna add eight because that's your standard deviation. So we're gonna add eight, subtract, uh, 